back to basics. Let's talk about graphs and how to graph graphs on a graph. Let's do it. I think that's all we're doing today. We're just going to graph a bunch of lines. How do I know it's a line? Well, because it's in the form y. Well, how do I know it's a line? Well, because it's in the form y equals mx plus b. And anything in the form y equals mx plus b is going to be a line, where m is my slope and b is my y, there's a lot of lag here, b is my y intercept. All right, what does that mean? Well, that means my slope is negative one third, but that's not where I start. Where I start is my y-intercept, which is <laughs> positive 1. Again, there's a lot of lag here. So I start at positive 1, and my positive 1 is a y-intercept. So it would only make sense to put a dot on the y-axis, which is right there. Not the one on the right, the one on the y-axis. The one on the right would be the x-intercept, and that's not what I'm doing. Now I take my slope. My slope is negative 1 third. Negative slopes look like that. If it's 1 over 3, that means I literally go up 1 over 3, up 1 over 3, up 1 over 3, and I'm going to go up 1 and left 3, up 1, left, uh-oh, I can't do it anymore. So I'm going to go back to my original point and go down 1, right 1, 2, 3, put a dot there, go down 1, right through, up, can't do that either. I have three dots. And I can connect those dots by drawing a perfectly straight line. Okay, so if y is all by itself, the number in front of x is the slope, and the number floating around is the y-intercept. And that's what I did. And I graphed according to that information. Shall we do it again? Shall we do it again? Shall we do another one? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Uh, here we have something in the form y equals y equals mx plus b. m stands for our slope. So what's our slope? Our slope is 7 fourths. Positive 7 fourths. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my computer today. My y-intercept is negative 3. So where I start is with the y-intercept. Start with the y-intercept. Put a dot at negative 3 on the y-axis, which is down here. Not the one on the left, down there. My slope is positive 7 over 4. Positive slopes look like that. And I do rise over run. So up 7, right 4. Up 7, right 4. Up 7, right 4. Rise over run. Up. So I'm going to my green dot, and I'm going to count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'm going to go right 1, 2, 3, 4, and put a dot there. And since these numbers are pretty big, those are the only dots that I can put on the graph. Once I have enough dots, or all the dots that I can draw, I draw a straight line through those dots, and there you have it. And there you have it. Let's do another one. Hey, it worked. All right. So is y all by itself? Yes. So when y is all by itself, I can compare it to y equals mx plus b, where m is my slope, so my slope is 1 half and b is my y-intercept, 3. I start with my y-intercept. I put a dot at 3 on the y-axis, which is that guy right there. Then I start at that dot, and since my slope is positive 1 over 2, I go up 1, right 2. So I go to that green dot, and I'm going to go up 1, right 2, put a dot. Up 1, right 2, put a dot. Up 1, oh, I can't. So I'm going to go back to my original dot, and I can go in the complete opposite direction, which is down one, left two, put a dot. Down one, left two, put a dot. Down one, left two. Up, oh, I ran out of room. So I have five dots there, 
And I always like to draw as many dots as I can. That way, if I screw up a dot, I know I did something wrong. It's better to be safe than sorry. Once you have all the dots that you can, you draw a perfectly straight line through all those dots, and you have yourself y equals 1 half x plus 3. I think we have one more. Maybe not. I have y equals 4x minus 4. Is y all by itself? Yeah. So what do I do? Well, I, I write out y equals mx plus b, and I'm going to compare the two. What that means is my slope is 4. But you know what? If slope is supposed to be rise over run, I'm going to turn 4 into a fraction. So 4 over 1. My slope is 4 over 1. What's my y-intercept? Negative 4, because there's a negative in front of that 4. So where do I start? I start at negative 4 for my y-intercept, which is down here. Not the left one, on the y-axis. See that y at the top? You're going to put the negative 4 there. My positive 4 over 1 means I'm going up 4, right 1. Up 4, right 1. Up 4, right 1. This is a positive slope. So I'm going to draw as many dots as I can. Up 1. So I'm starting at the green dot that I drew out. Up 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1, put a dot. Up 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1, put a dot. Up 1, oh, I can't. And I'd love to go to that green dot and go down 4, left 1, but I can't. I have three dots, and that's really all I need. Draw myself a straight line. So let's see what I have next. Mm. I have myself an equation that is not solved for y. So what do I do if my equation is not solved for y and I'm asked to graph? How about you solve it for y? Hmm. So I have x plus y equals 3. I'm just going to write that out. Is y all by itself? No. What's in the way? x. Anything else? Nope. How do I get rid of x? Subtract it from both sides. Cross you out. I can bring down the y. On the right side, I have 3 and I have negative x. 3 and negative x don't combine. Now, am I going to write out 3 minus x? I could, or I could put the negative x first, and since that's a positive 3, put a plus 3. Is y all by itself now? Yeah. So what do I do? Compare it to y equals mx plus 3. This is the tricky part. The number in front of x is not there. It's just a negative symbol. So negative what? Well, negative 1. Now, is that a fraction? No. So how can I turn negative 1 into a fraction? Make it negative 1 over 1. So that's my slope. Negative is negative 1 over 1. What's my y-intercept? 3 x and I only wrote it out instead of saying b. Silly me. Where do I put my dot? Start at the 3 up here. My slope is negative 1. So I can go up 1, left 1. Up 1, left 1. Up 1, left 1. Uh-oh, ran out of room. What else could I do? I'm going to go back to my purple original dot and go down 1, right 1. 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 So many dots. Now that I have all those dots, I can draw my perfectly straight line like I'm really good at. I'm getting better. I mean, it's straight. It's not perfect, but it's, it's in the right direction. Ah! Now we're at our last one, and easily the worst one yet. So I'm going to move my face up there, and I'm going to rewrite this equation up here. What am I doing rewriting this equation up there? Well, it's definitely not solved for y. It's not even close to being solved for y. Not even close. So what I have to do is get y all by itself. Once I get y all by itself, then I can say y equals mx plus b and figure out what my slope is and what my y-intercept is. But it's important to know that if y is all by itself, you're not allowed to look at the numbers that you have and say, that's my slope and that's my y-intercept. You're not allowed to do that. So is y all by itself? No. What's in the way? Negative 5x. What else is in the way? 4. Which one should I get rid of? Negative 5x. 
how do I get rid of negative 5x? I add 5x to both sides. Add 5x, add 5x, that crosses u out. On the left side, I have 4y. On the right side, I have a negative 16 and a positive 5x. A negative 16 and a positive 5x. Do they combine? No. What should I write out first? 5x. Why? Because if I'm going to pair, compare it to y equals mx plus b, I want the x part first. So I have 5x, and then I have a positive 16. They don't combine because 5x has an x, and 16 doesn't. Is y all by itself? No. What's in the way? 4. How is 4 in the way? It's being multiplied. How do I get rid of 4? Divide it. So I'm going to divide every piece by 4. Divide every chunk by 4. Cross u out. Is y all by itself now? Sure is. 5 over 4 is going to stay 5 over 4 because when I'm talking about slope, I want to keep my fraction improper. Simplify it if you can but keep it improper because I don't want to make it mixed number. Remember, slope is rise over run. It's not a number in front of rise over run. So I have five over four X plus 16 over four. Can I simplify 16 over four? Of course I can. It's four. So now I can compare that to Y equals MX plus B where my slope is 5 over 4 and my y-intercept is regular 4. Where do I start at my y-intercept? At 4. Should I put a dot on the right 4 or on the up 4? The up 4. What's up 4? I don't know. What's up, dog? Nothing much, homie. All right, so that's my that's my black dot is my y-intercept. Now I'm going to look at my slope and put more points there. My slope is positive, which means I go up and to the right or down and to the left. So if it's rise over run, it's going to be up 5, right 4, up 5, right 4. No, I can't go up 5. So I can go down 5, left 4, down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, left 1, 2, 3, 4, put a dot. Obviously, I can't do it again because I don't have enough space. But if you're drawing a straight line, all you need are two dots. All you need are two dots, dots. Two dots are all you need, beetles. Well, very important section. Graphing lines isn't gonna go away anytime soon, so we need to know how to do that. Uh, and that's how we graph lines. We did six of them. Four of them were easy, two of them were not. That's gonna do it though. Bye.